Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going to my booth here that I have locally in Topeka, Kansas, and we're going to be doing a big booth reset. I've been working hard on this for about a week. Can't wait to bring y'all along with me and show you what I'm going to do. My space was becoming too full of small items. I didn't have enough furniture, so I knew it was time to get some of these smaller things out. I started by removing my seasonal spring and summer items. Notice as I'm taking things down, I'm putting them into these big plastic totes so I can easily move them out of my way as I'm restaging. I'm also color categorizing these totes. I have a neutral one. I have one full of purples, one full of reds, one full of yellows. That way as I'm restaging and storing items for next year, it will be easy and organized already. Here's a look at my space once it's a lot more empty. As I have it empty, I move everything around, sweep and dust, and make sure everything is nice and clean for my customer's shopping experience. And now it's time to bring in some new furniture. I sprayed some pieces over the weekend prior to this reset, and I do have a video coming on that soon if you're curious on how to spray DIY paint. I've got all my big pieces in now, and it's time to figure out where I would like to set up my vignettes. I did decide to pull out my paint shelves. I cleaned behind them, but I also took the brackets that were secured to the back of my shelves and secured them up higher onto my door walls. That's gonna take my stencil and decoupage paper display up higher, which I think will be easier for people to see and shop. This six drawer side by side white dresser only lasted one day in my booth. I sprayed it with DIY vintage linen and I numbered the drawers, which I added some apothecary labels to. It sold fast. But while it was here, I took the chance to stage it up. Again, I was going for a very neutral palette, fall vibes. That way, as I bring in my seasonal fall stuff, I don't have to compete with purples and yellows and get my booth looking way too busy and overwhelming the eye. There are several angles in which you can see my booth, so I usually kind of set up four vignettes. And you can see I rearranged my furniture and got those four little sections set up. This oak shelf was free to me. I painted it with Sweet Pickens milk paint and it gave a great chippy look. I'm going to keep it right now for staging in my booth. 
Here in the front, I put my cute little rusty dresser, this art desk, and a rocking chair. There were definitely some smalls I wanted to keep in my booth, and I loaded them up on this shelf, which kept them all in one spot, up off the ground, more eye level, and super organized. And I just love the way that this chippy shelf display came out. Again, very neutral, very farmhouse, but I am digging it, and I think it's gonna be a great start for my fall displays. You might recognize half of this ladder from one of my recent thrift hauls. It sold as well as that topiary very quickly too. So this display only lasted one day, but I am loving the way this back wall looks and I'm glad I got some great video and pictures of it. Drop me a comment down below. What are y'all thinking of my booth revamp so far? Here in the front, I painted this little handmade shelf and put some metal accents on it and it looks so great with that trunk on top with those matching metal accents. I've got a handmade riser that I add over here as well as some of those huge handmade corbels I made a couple of months back, which again sold the same day. If y'all are digging this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment down below, and let me know that you like these booth videos. That way I can bring you even more amazing content that you love. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe and hit the little notification bell to all, and YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new video. I try to optimize as much vertical hanging space as I can. I attach a couple little screws to the side of my shelf and add some wreaths as well. And also a sign that says to check the other side because this is the back wall of my booth. It looked terrible. There was barely anything on it and I do need to make even more inventory for it, but I did want to at least restyle it. So I grouped some like items together, which made the wall appear a lot more full and added some inventory for sure. I need some fresh new ideas for this wall. If you have a booth space or if this was your wall, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you would do with it and how you would style it. All right, here's a quick recap. This was my booth before. Lots of smalls, lots of floral, and like I said, items had really lost a place, lost a home, and everything ended up on the floor, which is no good. As a reseller, you really want to keep your inventory up higher at eye level. And here is a look after a two-day reset.
I hope y'all enjoyed coming along with me this week and doing a booth reset. I love working in my booth and I hope that that shows in some of my styling and I hope y'all got some great new ideas. Till next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye friends.